The school district of Palm Beach County celebrates the great. Welcome to the Teacher of the Year and School Related Employee of the Year ceremony. First, let's meet this year's School Related Employee of the Year finalists from each of the four regions. Representing the North Region, from Osceola Creek Middle, Joy Cabot. Representing the Central Region, from Wellington Community High, Hernan Avila. Representing the Glades Region, from Rosenwald Elementary, Jeffrey Sears. And representing the South Region, from Congress Middle, Candy Bartolome. Now the finalists for Teacher of the Year. Representing the North Region, from Riviera Beach Preparatory and Achievement Academy, Toshimi Abe Janiga. Representing the Central Region, from South Grade Elementary, Alyssa Maddox. Representing the Glades Region, from Bell Glade Elementary, Ariana Murphy. And representing the South Region, from Hidden Oaks K-8, Zuleika Acevedo Ayala. Here's your host, President and CEO of the Education Foundation of Palm Beach County, James Gavrilos. Come on family, you can do better than that. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to this year's Teacher of the Year and School Related Employee of the Year ceremony. We are at the Education Network with our eight regional nominees and tonight we are going to announce the winners but first we're going to get to know them a little bit better. Due to the social distancing protocols we are joined by a limited audience here in the studio but we know many of you are watching throughout the district and we thank you for your participation. Let's start tonight if we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated. And Dr. Fenoy, we are not allowed to say go Air Force after the pledge. <clears throat> so here we are to celebrate the school-related employee of the year and the teacher of the year. But I might offer a corrective. I think rather than calling this ceremony the teacher of the year, we really should be calling it the year of the teacher. This was the year that America woke up and saw the importance of education. This was the year that parents all across America suddenly sat back and said, oh my God, what these people do on a daily basis. And after, oh, I don't know, about 15 minutes trying to teach their kids, parents suddenly realized what you do on a daily basis. Let's give these eight nominees a round of applause. I want to just say one thing before we, we jump into recognizing our school district related employees and also the teachers. When we think about the importance of teachers and the role you play in our lives, I speak before a lot of corporations and when I speak to corporate groups, I like to do something. I ask the corporate CEOs, Tell me the three most influential corporate presentations you've heard and who gave it and what the three main points were. Crickets. Dead silence. And then I'll ask them, tell me about your third grade teacher. And you ought to see their eyes light up. Now I can't tell you what I ate for breakfast this morning. And I'm 56 years old, so do the math on this, folks. But I can tell you that Miss Brown was my kindergarten teacher, and Miss Wilson was my first grade teacher, and I had Miss Noel for second and third, Miss Smith for fourth, and I got stuck with Old Lady Riley for fifth and sixth. <laughs> Old Lady Riley, but there are four in my family. I'm the fourth. She had eight consecutive years of gavrilluses. I'm fairly sure that after the eighth year, she left the teaching profession and lived out the rest of her years baking granola in a monastery in Bangladesh just to recover but I remember them because what you do matters. The impact you have on young lives lasts forever. And 50 years later, I may not remember what I had for breakfast today, but I can still remember my first grade teacher. I remember what she looked like, how she sounded, 
and how she changed our lives. Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing more sacred than a teacher or the people who support them. Let's give them one more round of applause. We celebrate tonight with a number of our business partners from around the district. And this night would not be possible without our sponsors, and we want to thank them. Applebee's, The Breakers, Gold Coast Federal Credit Union, JFK Medical Center, Lion Country Safari, Palms West Hospital, Rapids Water Park, and the Airport Hilton. How about a hand for our presenting sponsors? Every orchestra needs a conductor. And at the top of this massive orchestra that we call the Palm Beach County School District is our conductor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to bring to the podium the one and only, I'm not going to do the hype speech tonight, the indomitable, our superintendent, Dr. Donald Fenoy. So good evening, everyone. Let's try that again. Good evening, audience. Good evening. <coughs> Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the school district's Teacher of the Year and the School Related Employee of the Year. Typically by this time we hold this event, we would have surprised our winners with a visit to their schools. But there has been nothing typical about this past year. I did, however, enjoy speaking with each of you on the phone. It's kind of interesting when, you, when someone calls, this, you know, when superintendent calls someone and they're like, who is this? <laughs> they're like, well, this is Donald Fenoy. And they're like, Two of them hung up on me. I'll leave them, uh, I, I'll leave them out. To, I won't embarrass them for the television program. But no, it was, it was my honor and my pleasure to speak to all of you, uh, notifying of your nomination. Another change this year is that uh, when we think about what adds excitement is the winners in each category were not notified in advance, as we did in the past. Our winners will be named in just a few moments. And those of you joining us from home will find out at the same time as our nominees. While there are changes to this event this year, there's one very important constant, and that is each of our eight finalists is outstanding. We are honoring this group of extraordinary professionals for their dedication and determination in ensuring that all of our students receive a world-class education. In a school year like no other, our nominees have turned challenges into opportunities. They have been nimble. They have worked harder and smarter than ever before. While starting this year in distance learning and then opening our campuses to those students who were comfortable returning to brick and mortar, our teachers have balanced students' instruction in two modalities and challenged themselves to engage the students they were simultaneously teaching in class and at home. While reviewing the applications of our Teacher of the Year finalists, I noticed that they described their priorities by using words such as inclusion, relationships, and impact. But these are more than just words. These educators know how to make their students feel valued, respected, and motivated to achieve academic growth despite the challenges and hardships brought forth by this pandemic. Our school-related employees of the year, these finalists come from diverse positions in the district. A principal secretary, a custodian, a behavior specialist who have been promoted to a ITSA, a main office clerk. Ladies and gentlemen, this group of individuals deserves a round of applause. <clears throat> These men and women, I asked them when we closed school almost a year ago, many of them, I told them they still have to come to work. We have teachers that need schools to be cleaned. We have students whose schedules need to be created. And with all the challenges of mental health, our guidance counselors have been working overtime. And I thank all of those who are behind the scenes heroes who kept us afloat. If it wasn't for the teachers, the principals with the, and our school-related employees of the year, we would have not been open since September 11th without closing schools. So again, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for keeping the schools open for my children and all the children of Palm Beach County. Today, we are also honored to be joined by last year's winner, Teacher of the Year, Ms. Sydney White, and the school-related employee of the year, Ms. Ivy Too Short Collagen. <laughs> Give them a round of applause. Both of these women not only last, won last year's, uh, last year's winners, but they were also finalists for the state. They have set a wonderful example. And my, it was such a pleasure to meet them both. We laughed and cried and had a great time in both their celebrations last year. And so I'm looking forward to hearing their words today. 
To all of our nominees, I want you to know that I cannot overstate how grateful the school board, the entire school district, and I are, each of you, are, are of each of you. Please know how proud I am to serve as your superintendent and colleague. Congratulations on your accomplishments, your successes, and on being nominated for this prestigious award and all the work you will continue to do for the students of Palm Beach County. Relish in this acknowledgement and continue to grow as professionals and human beings. Our children are counting on you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fenoy. He's always a tough act to follow because the microphone's usually eight inches above my head. <laughs> Napoleon's famous dictum was that an army marches on its stomach. He wasn't talking about food. He was talking about logistics, administration, and Doc, I'm going to steal your term, back office heroes. Our first category tonight are the school district related, the school related employee of the year. You're the unsung heroes. Teachers don't get nearly enough credit, but throughout this year, at least people have talked about teachers. But the behind the scenes heroes, the administrators, the library aides, the behavioral specialists, the custodians, the food service workers, as Dr. Fenoy have sa has said, you have performed heroically during the most unbelievable of circumstances. Family, could we give one more round of applause to these well-deserved <laughs> honorees? So let's get to know them a little bit. Ms. Cabot has been nominated to be a finalist for the Non-Instructional Employee of the Year. A lot of amazing people, so for me to be the one chosen to represent our North Area, it's very special to me. Good morning, Osceola Creek. Joy speaking. How can I help you? I do love my job. I, I you know, every day I, I love getting up and coming to work. Usually the first or the second person here. One of my main roles is payroll and attendance of our staff. I make sure I do the communication board. I care a lot. <laughs> every bell exchange, I monitor the courtyard at that time. I love our students. You know, I love, I love kids. Just so everything runs smoothly and the most important thing is for them to, you know, get their education and help the teachers and the students make sure everything's ready for them. I have a lot of pride. We have an excellent team here. And of course, it starts with Mr. McClellan, our principal. It's very important for me to make sure that he has everything he needs and that he can count on me. She comes here in the dark and she leaves in the dark and it's not uncommon for her to be here on a weekend, ensuring that her job is done the best it can be. It's just extremely admirable how you consistently put other people in front of you, students, staff, all levels, and we just uh, this place would not be the same without you, and we just appreciate all you do so very much. You're welcome. Good morning. Hello, hello. Came to check on y'all this morning. Y'all all right? Hi, I'm Jeff Sears. I'm head custodian at Rosenwald Elementary. So we make scrub room and we may also do like two rows. There's a lot of overseeing work as a head custodian. And you have to make sure your team is doing it right, being the best at everything we do. Making sure it's highly disinfected, especially in this time right here, we're living in a pandemic. So we have to be extra careful as far as disinfecting, as far as cleaning. So we try and do the best we can every day. Kevin, what's going on? I, ain't much I love making people smile. You know, I love making people happy. A smile a day will keep the doctor away, so that's pretty much the life of me. And if I can make you smile today, I did my job. I'm actually blessed and lucky to be in a position to work at a school where my daughter and son attend. You know, I have a third and fourth grader. Being a father on campus, I can always check in on their class. It's one of the best feelings ever. It's the subject of pronouns. Here at Rosenwald, we have a mentoring program. I mentor two students. The kids are the future. You got to take the time out and view them valuably. Being a mentor helps a lot. I'm from South Bay myself, and seeing these kids in the area, they see me outside of work, it's also, it also carries weight. And they're, hey, there's Mr. Sears. He's a good guy. And they, it, it helps mold them into being better people. And that's pretty much my best part about being a role model. I want to thank Mr. Sears because he's there whenever I struggle, and he can help me. I love what you, you add to Rosewild Elementary to ensure 
that our students are safe, to ensure that our students are comfortable, and to ensure that you know we are achieving our best. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Being recognized for my hard work, um, it's something I never dreamed of, but it's something that would keep me achieving more. It will make me work harder. I can promise you that. <laughs> Yeah, do me a favor, uh, you got your phone on you? Hey, my name's Fernando Vila, but around here in Wellington, they call me Coach H. Uh, you might have to turn off the Wi-Fi. So what's my job? What does Coach H do? He's a teacher, a counselor. He's a mentor. Someone that you know will always be there and you can trust. Make sure you always keep it on there, that way you can He's absolutely amazing. He handles anything from student achievement to student mental health to athletics. My job is to do whatever it takes to make sure that this school and these kids are successful. I'm gonna give you guys the books for today, and then you guys are gonna go to 1145. I'm just trying to help everybody, and that's how it pretty much became Jack of All Trades. That's the book we're gonna start for that leadership class. Once I arrived to Wellington, I saw that, you know, there's a lot of kids in need. I built that trust, that relationship with them. We really help students stay on track, keep them out of trouble, and get good grades. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, man. Proud of you, buddy. Thank you. It was embedded in me to be a hard worker, uh, keep moving forward. So now when you mix, you know, working hard with having the passion to help these kids, you mix that together, and, you know, I can't say no. And then type in uh, StreamYard. In this room is where we run all of our live streams for, like, curriculum nights, coffee talks. Uh, we do our morning announcements. He is a jack of all trades. He is extremely special, and he is so loved here at Wellington High School and throughout the community. To me, this job is just giving back. Paying it forward is like what I used to say. Being able to make a difference is what this job is for me. Helping these kids is the real motivation at the end of the day. All right, man. Hi, I'm Candy Bartolone. I'm here, our secretary clerk at Congress Middle School. Go Cougars! The dictionary defined candy as sweet. That's her. Hello. Kaylee? And you're good to go. Service with a smile. Good morning, Congress Middle. How can I help you? Willing to help. I will also inform Dr. Grice and the grade level um, academy counselor regarding transportation. She runs that front office like a smooth sailing ship. It's a great experience. I get to Learn. She's a multitasker. She's here, there, everywhere. Do whatever it takes to get the job done. So you come in early, stays late. Candy is just awesome. Just awesome. I'm organized. You know, I'm a hard worker, as well as I'm confident about that I will get the job done. My job includes late tardy, secretary, early dismissal, organizing the substitutes. So I do a little bit of everything, but as long as I get all the job done, I'll be always here to assist. Well, I have a great communication with our staff members, helping one another. They send me sweet love. I get candy as a, you know, a little reminder for them that I'm sweet to them. are four amazing vignettes. Let's get to know our four nominees just a little bit more personally. We'll start with Joy from Osceola. Joy, what's the best part of your day and why? Oh, part, I, I have many parts of my day that I love, but the best part of my day I would say is in the mor my morning duty, which is in our courtyard, greeting our students as they enter our campus and our staff, uh, just getting to say good morning, um, have a great day, um, just building relationships with our students and staff. Outstanding. Jeff Sears, our nominee from Rosenwald, what do you find most gratifying about your work? Well, I think I play a major role in keeping everyone healthy and safety on campus. And with that, I try and make sure appearance is everything. So when you step on my campus, you feel like you're in a great space. I also, I also think having a great work environment helps, helps the job go even better. So being that we're working in schools, being on a healthy and safe environment helps the kids feel a little more comfortable and more at home. Outstanding, and I like that smile today, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Coach from Wellington, 
Tell me why you have the best job in the school. The reason why I have the best job is because um, not only am I able to be the guy that troubleshoots your computer, I could be a mentor, I could be a coach, administration, counselor, whatever is needed on campus, and I get to experience um, you know, students in different contexts of their lives, you know, whether it be the best, at their best or the worst, and you know, it's just an adventure every day. Excellent. And our final nominee, Candy Bartolone, right here from Congress Middle School. She had the longest commute today. Con <laughs> Congress is literally right next door. What gives you your greatest sense of accomplishment? And my greatest sense of accomplishment is, you know, during these difficult times, we have supportive colleagues and students to make a successful year. Not only that, but, you know, an achievement. Once you great, get the great achievement, you get a great reach of goal to success day by day. Take it day by day. If you're watching at home, how can you not be inspired by these incredible nominees? Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for our school-related employee of the year. The second category we recognize tonight is, of course, our Teacher of the Year. A wise educator once said, children don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care. And I don't have to tell Dr. Fenoy or the school board or any of you how deeply these teachers care. I have to share what has struck me over the years that I've been with the Ed Foundation is not the prodigious talent you bring to your jobs or your incredible dedication your incredible commitment of time. What impresses me and moves me year after year is your heart, the size of your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to know our four nominees. As Warner Wolf would say, let's go to the videotape. Hi, my name is Toshimi Abe Janiga. I'm an English teacher at Vivia Beach Prep. When I teach students about the Holocaust, I want them to participate to prevent the next atrocity to happen. I want them to understand the warnings, what's coming. I want them to make a choice to do the right thing as a human being. English is my second language and also being a minority. Uh, that's why I really commit to teach social injustice and racism. And I think I, I know how to connect to the everyday life. The activity can heal sometimes, you know, their pain. And it, it really healed me too. It's rewarding to me as a teacher to witness the impact. Miss Abe, She's kind and she has a sweetheart and I feel like she helps everybody. Without you, how many kids will not have graduated? So you are a blessing, Mom. And I want you to know that. From the bottom of my heart to you, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really We've used the formula before, now we're just throwing it into volume. Hi everyone, my name is Ariana Murphy and I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Belglade Elementary. Your teacher is the Glades Region Teacher of the Year. To me, being chosen out of so many teachers in Palm Beach County is just so honoring and humbling to me. I can explain the formulas below and why they work to calculate the volume. I grew up and I was the typical little girl who lined up all her stuffed animals and was teaching them. So it's definitely a calling. I love the moments where they're like, oh my gosh, I got it. Mm -hmm. Perfect, so let me ask you a question now. Her goal is to always exactly. set the bar high. She's data driven. She'll come um, on the weekends and you know, open up the school and tutor with the um, kids. The girl is just amazing. I can't say enough about her. Teaching is most definitely more than just nine to five. It's so much more of a passion. You have to step in as counselor, as you know, almost as a parent. Um, they don't accidentally call me mom. It's actually sometimes on purpose because it feels like a, a maternal role. A prism, but there's no cubes. 
can we still use that same strategy? What makes Miss Murphy so special to us? Because she motivates us on tests. Even though when we do something wrong, she always gives us like help and hope that we can try better. You can always go to her and she'll help you and she doesn't make you feel like left out and she makes me feel safe. Can you show me in our reading the three factors? Just seeing them prosper and learn just by the little things that I add in um, just makes me excited at the end of the day. Hi, I'm Alyssa Maddox. I am proud to be a fourth grade teacher here at South Grade Elementary. So what does the B tell us to do? Bring down. Bring down the six. six. I have known I wanted to be a teacher for my entire life. Felt like a calling and kind of just followed it all the way to here. So we're going to put a zero on the top. It's just so rewarding. I mean, I can't think of anything else where I am excited to come to work. I'm excited to work with people who want to be here, who are excited to learn and really have an impact on their lives. It's amazing. Harriet Tubman was born March 10th. 1822. The true reward of this job, I think it's the relationships I have with my students. I really bond with them. They respect me, I respect them. And just knowing that I impacted them, I helped them. Oh, let's read this paragraph right here. Can you read it with me? Juan Bobo smile faded. They are moving up in their reading levels. They are doing awesome. Miss Maddox is such a remarkable teacher. She is dedicated to her students, to her parents to her, her team, to the entire school, always really wanting to get the job done. It's important that they're good people, that they are learning how to be a good citizen and just kind people, because that's what matters. And so that is what I'm encouraging them and trying to help them to become. Believe in yourself. Learn from your mistakes. Have big dreams. Work hard. Be happy. My name is Oleika Acevedo. I'm a teacher here in Hidden Oaks. Use your telescope to look to the constellations. My students are on the autism spectrum disorder. The love and the relationship with them, that is everything. The student with disabilities know who loves me, who is there for them. They're going to know you love them. Maybe I don't need to say I love you all the time, but they know. That warms my heart to know that there's that love and respect in this classroom day in and day out and for our, our children. Where do you want to put this one? And I come in any single morning with something new, something fresh, different come? activities, different motivations. Oh, I love how you leave the space in between the words. I know I'm succeeding when I see my kids, they are able to grab a pencil and write a sentence. They're able to add numbers. One, two, three. For me, I see my kids like a regular kids. I don't see any disability in my students. We support you, we love you, yeah, I know. Thank you so and we're much. so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait to the day where I can just hug you. <laughs>
through those camps, I can see that uh, increase of uh, test scores and then graduation rates in my school. And then that caused that uh, first graduation, first generation graduation in our community. So that's the time that I feel. That's beautiful. Thank yes. you. Ariana Murray from Belglade Elementary. What advice would you give to a brand new teacher? Um, I'd probably say don't waste your time comparing yourself to others. I learned in my first year, that was a crazy whole other story, um, comparison is the thief of joy and it's just going to take your time. So use those veteran teachers to learn from. Um, the best professional development is the teacher down the hall. Find somebody that's a little bit wiser and it's not be teachable, be flexible and roll with it and use your passion and your creativity. Comparison is the thief of joy? <laughs> Doc, we are stealing that line. <laughs> Alyssa Maddox from South Grade. What inspires you to be the best that you can be? I am inspired every day by my students. Um, they don't have the best of anything. Um, I work in a low-income area of Lake Worth. They don't have the best clothes or the best shoes. So I'm inspired to be what I can for them. I saw it firsthand when I delivered supplies at the beginning of the pandemic. And just seeing their lives it inspired me even more to be one of the best things in their life. These are the reasons why we at the Ed Foundation get out of bed in the morning, folks, because these teachers just deserve all, all we can give them. Our final nominee, Zuleika Acevedo from Hidden Oaks. I think Dr. Fenoy said it well, 2020 tested us. Uh, many, many challenges. But even given the challenges, why would you say that you have the best job? Well, I'd say with this pandemic and the mandatory close of the schools, at least through the technology, I was able to keep the, con um, the contact with my kids. But when the school was open again, I can hold my tears. I can just wait for seeing my kids again in my classroom. And instead of there saying, me, oh, I miss you, Ms. Acevedo, I was excited for saying, I love you, Ms. Acevedo, we are here. And any single day is awesome if for me that is when I hear my kids say, I love you, Ms. Acevedo, I know I have the best job ever. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how you follow that, but one more round of applause for all of our nominees. <clears throat> now, all of the nominees, including those that you saw scroll before our program began, there were, were 154 schools that submitted nominees. A little word, little word about the prizes you're going to receive tonight. All 154 nominees are going to receive a $25 gift card to Applebee's. Um, I am free on Monday nights, <laughs> and usually on Friday afternoons for lunch, so if 154 people are looking, I'm around. Um, our eight finalists are going to go home tonight with two tickets to Lion Country Safari, two tickets to Rapids Water Park, and a one-night stay at the West Palm Beach Airport Hilton for a nice little local staycation. Our four Teacher of the Year finalists are also going to receive a box of classroom supplies from our Education Foundation's Red Apple Supply. Finally, uh, the grand prize winners will be the district's nominees representing all of Palm Beach County. Now there's one more prize. Now my team has said, make sure you mention something about the Ed Foundation, maybe talk about our license plate. I said, I'm not gonna do that. That would just be tacky. So uh, the winner is gonna get uh, one of these lovely pairs of socks and if the camera can zero in on this, it's got the license plate on it. <laughs> You're not getting the socks, these are mine. But our two winners tonight are going to receive a check for $1,500 to spend any way you please. You've earned it, and it's our pleasure to be part of it. How about a hand for our prizes, those who donated them, and our nominees. Let's begin with the school-related employee of the year. I'm going to ask Dr. Fenoy to return to the podium with Ivy Colligan from Orchard View, who is the reigning school-related employee of the year. Ivy, Doc, and if you remember the principal of the year, if you're my age, you'll get the reference. I hold in my hand the envelope, which has been hermetically sealed and kept in a mayonnaise jar in the porch of Funkin' Wagnall since noon today. Johnny Carson. Ivy, if you will do the honors. And if you want to say a few words first about your experience this year. Oh, and, well. And Let me move this down for you. Oh, um, yeah, I'm... thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I won, the whole world shut down, so I didn't get to say much, but I just wanted to thank my principal, Lisa Lee, 
for everything she's ever done for me in the last eight years that I've worked for her. Dawn Sarnelli, my AP, thank you for being so kind to everybody. Orchard View, my family, love you guys. You make my life so much easier. My family, my rock, my husband, just everybody. And I just want to also say that anybody can do my job as an uh, administrative assistant. Unless you work for Lisa Lee, then only I can do it. <laughs> but um, other than that, just being with the kids, the most rewarding thing I've ever done in the 22 years of my life. I love them all. And good luck to all of you. So here we go. This is so exciting. I can't even open it. I'm so nervous. And the employee of the year is Hernan Avila, coach. Oh. Yay! Congratulations, sir. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Get my phone out real quick. I was in. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so uh, I wasn't really prepared to say something, but um, I do want to start off by saying um, this year has been tough for a lot of us, and you know we had a huge loss in our community with uh, Mr. Polk, one of our APs, passed away this last year, and really um, what keeps me going every day. And I know throughout this whole process, it was always, why do you do this? Why do you do that? What keeps you mo moving? And September 24th, he told me, he sent me a brief message and said, you only do this once. You have to maximize your opportunities. And I hate that I can't be here today. And those were the last words. And a few days later, you know, may you rest in peace, Mr. Henry Polk. So I live by that every day. You know, when I go and to work every single day, I, you know, I just try to do the best that I can for all, all the students in the community. And also, you know, throughout the whole process, um, you know, I got to thank uh, Ms. Hayden for putting me in the position where I am right now and can, you know, continue to, you know, I continue to, you know, make everybody proud in school and to my Wellington family. Without them and without them nominating me, I wouldn't be here. So I want to thank them all and uh, grateful for this opportunity. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Cindy is from Elbridge Gale Elementary, and she is last year's winner and our, our reigning Teacher of the Year also was a state finalist for the Florida Department of Education. I'm going to ask you to say a few words and then you get to do the honors. All right, thank you so much. It's been a privilege to serve our district and really elevate our profession. And when I hear your stories, I'm reminded of why I do what I do and why we do what we do. Our impact is so meaningful. We have an opportunity to change the lives of children and their families. It is a gift to be a teacher, and so I thank you. I thank my administrators who have uplifted me for years and changed my life so that I can walk in the classroom and change lives. So I thank the four of you. I thank Palm Beach County School District teachers. I thank my own children's teachers who are there. They are so joyful to come to school, and they're happy to learn and grow. And that is the gift and the power that we have as educators. And so as we continue on this year, just hold on to that power and use it to uplift and change lives. Right. So thank you, everyone. And without further ado, our, our Palm Beach County Teacher of the Year is Toshimi Abe um, Denaga. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. No, no, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll take it back. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I, I really didn't believe that I, I got this award, but I'm so honored to be here. And uh, year 2020 is so uh, challenging. And uh, let me think that um, what is important to me and what matters to me. And I realized that, that is, those things are very close to me, my health and uh, my family. And also um, my career as a teacher. 
And I have to say thank you, my administrations and all teachers in my school and supported me and uh, all custodians and staff members. And then every single day, they clean our school to prepare for the students to coming back. And uh, students, I like to say thank you to you. And they really inspire me. Uh, the decision that they made to come back to our school and also that believe in a second chance of education. And then that taught me that I should never give up. And then lastly, I like to say thank you for Holocaust survivors that are all I met. Um, thank you for letting me allow to teach and tell your story to our students. And then thank you so much. Thank you. It takes a great heart to teach young minds, and I think you've seen that here tonight. To those of you watching at home, I hope you can appreciate these eight individuals represent the 25 or 26,000 throughout the district who every day, seven days a week, give all that they have plus one. They just don't stop. Their desire for perfection, their desire to touch the lives of children and, and to shape them for the future is just so inspiring. You've inspired us tonight. But now we have to go forward. 2020 has been a bizarre year. 2021 seems to be getting better. The one constant in this county, the one constant that I think sustains Palm Beach County and makes us the special place we are, starts with Dr. Fenoy, our seven members of the school board, his incredible command staff, the amazing communications team at, at the Education Network. Kate, you and your team are just consummate professionals and you make these things go so smoothly. Somehow this machinery works, but it doesn't work because of machines. It works because of people. People like the eight sitting here, the other 154 who were nominated, and the 26,000 employees throughout this district who every day wake up and say, let's change the life of one child. Ladies and gentlemen, as we close tonight, we close with the words of St. Ignatius of Loyola, go forward, teachers, and set the world on fire. Thank you for being with us today. All the right notes when he created this video of his students singing together in harmony so our objective was to show the kids that even if we're far apart we can still do a concert together and still present something to the world that wow these are our students